<laughs> so hi everybody, I'm Pascal Bolli and I will present you how we improve the, the scalability of uh, Sparkle Federation engines. So, 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 okay. So uh, what is a Sparkle Federation engine? A Sparkle Federation engines allows to execute Sparkle query over multiple uh, knowledge graphs hosted on Sparkle endpoints. So how it works? You first start your federation engines, uh, then you register the URIs of all your knowledge graph, and then it's ready to start. You, you send your Sparkle query. The federation engines decompose the uh, Sparkle query into subqueries, select relevant source, execute the queries, grab results, merge results, and you have uh, your final result, and you are happy when it works. Uh, so it's a major approach uh, for keeping the web uh, decentralized and it's super nice, but the problem is uh, scalability. So here it, you see the query Q5 of the last of, uh, federated benchmark and you see uh, COSFED, with the, which is a very good uh, federated engines. And uh, you see when you have only 20 endpoints, the query Q5 takes three seconds. But if you go to 200 endpoints, then it time out after uh, one hour. So maybe I think it takes more than one day. So it's clearly it does not scale at all. But what is interesting that is that uh, the, the benchmark also includes RSA query. So it's handcrafted queries. And you see that it's possible to execute this uh, query into 1.5 seconds. So it means that there is a good question. So it exists a good plan for executing the federated query, but the federation engine cannot find it. And the, 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 the big answer for that is, is that federation engine only search for, for Genova Union query plans. And of course, the good plans, the one with 1.5 seconds, it does not belong to the search space. That's the main issue. I will explain you all of that in a super simple example. So here you have four endpoints. It's D1, D2, D3, D4. Okay, with just two triples per endpoint. And you have this query, that uh, this query is selecting uh, German music bands over this knowledge graph, this uh, virtual knowledge graph. And there is two answers, uh, Scorpion and uh, Kraftwerk. Okay, it's like that. Well, when you process uh, this query with uh, current uh, federated engines, uh, here it's a join between all these triple patterns. So you have a multi-join at the top of the query plan. And because, uh, for example, the first triple pattern has to be executed on D1 and D3, you have a, a union of TP1 on D1 and D3. This is the basic way to execute this query. It's, it's, it's fully correct. And, but when you execute this query, you will make eight calls to the endpoints. One, two, three, eight. Okay. Uh, there is another way to execute this query. Is uh, this is the, the this is the approach uh, we are take, we 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 highlighted in the paper. It's to say okay, but there is in fact two multi joins. One multi join is giving the first result Scorpion, and the second multi join is giving the second result Kraftwerk. And because now you see you have a union of multi join, and here it's a multi join of multi union. And because you, you built this plan, now it's possible to do the exclusive group optimization. So it means that because now you can, you have TP1 and TP2 that have to go to D1, you can send TP1, join TP2, you can push that to the endpoint. So you have two good effects. First, you just call four, you make four calls to the endpoint, so it's, it's less. And because you push more things to endpoints, you have less intermediate results. So this plan is much more better than these plans. Okay, so now the, the problem is, uh, this plan is also better, yes, because if you have this plan and you want to find this one, it's free, it's direct. But if you have this plan and you want to find this one again, then you have to normalize in filters and this is very, very costly. So if, to, if you have to find one logical plan, maybe it's better to find this one, okay. So uh, union over joins looks very nice, but how to build it? Uh, in fact, uh, the trick to build it is to, to start from the results and track provenance, as we have seen 
in a CPS uh, talk. So here you have two results. If you track the provenance of a result, you will find that, uh, in fact, there is just two combinations of source that give result, D1, D1, D2, D2, D3, D3, D4, D4. Uh, in fact, if you look to the state of art, they just look to the colons. If you see each colons, you build your multi-union. But if you look to lines, then you build union of multi-joints. OK, so it's better to read the lines. Uh, OK, so now if you really want to make it, you have to build a query evaluators that not only try to find the, the results, but track the provenance of results. So it's a little bit more complex than it seems because when you have to handle non monotonic operators, you will build maybe more complex plans like this one. You can, it's not a pure union of multi-join. It can be a union of left join that can be also uh, uh, the root of a more complex, uh, more complex expression. Okay, but there is a big issue with this approach. In fact, to find your super plan, you need the result. But to, to find the result, you need the plan. So there is a vicious circle. It cannot work. So the, the trick to break the, the vicious circle is to run the query, but not on the real data, to run the query on a caution summary. It's a summary. We will have a false positive. But because we use caution summary, we will have no false negative. So let's see how it works. So I continue with my little uh, example. My question summary is super simple. Uh, when I see a uh, URIs, I just keep the pay level domain. So here for D1 Scorpion, I just keep D1. And each time I see uh, a literal, I just I replace with any. It's a super simple question summary. But it's super efficient because if you see the effect on large RDF bench. Large RDF bench has more than 1 billion quads. When you apply this simple function, you just keep 6,000 quads. So it's super tiny. How you do really collect this uh, summary on real data? Uh, this summary function can be expressed as a simple construct query. So you just send this query to all endpoints and grab the, and merge the, the result, and it's OK. Now we have to be careful, because uh, if we want to execute the original query, I have to also apply the summary function on the query itself to make it executable on the, uh, on the summary. And I have a nice property of a question summary. If there is no result on the summary, there is no result on the federation. If you have result on the summary, maybe, maybe you have result on the federation. Now time for experiments. So we experimented on two on the two benchmarks uh, in the domain, so larger day bench and fetch shop. We just put the, here the, the summary size because we, we need all, almost all summary. We are the smallest summary. It's, it's not always an advantage. Uh, this is the result on a larger dev bench. So uh, in X, we have a query. In Y, we have execution time. In green, this is our engine. And in blue, it is cost-fed, which is a quite good engine. And on the larger bench, we, it's so-so. We, we are not better than the others. In fact, uh, cost-fed is better than us on, on many queries. And it's normal, in fact, because uh, there is, how to say that, there is just one way to execute queries on large RDF bench. So it makes no difference to have a union of join, join over union, is, they are the same plans. Now, if we look to the fetch shop uh, benchmark, fetch shop, you can have in different uh, configuration. Here it's on 20 endpoints, and here it's on 200 endpoints. And here now it's very clear. Uh, fed up, it's the green. Cost fed, it, all, it is always the blue. And you see here, you have order magnitude in the execution times. Uh, so, and, and, and there is a very short timeout, but we let the query run. The order of magnitude is really, really huge, in fact. So, uh, 
Okay, so in, in this setup, we can see clearly that uh, fed up scale much more better than, um, than uh, competitor baseline. So in conclusions, we can say that because we use a union over joint plans, now we, we open a new, new perspective, new, new source space for federation engines in terms of scalability. Now it's possible to think about maybe we maybe thousands of, uh, of uh, knowledge graph and query all the thousand knowledge graph with just one query. Uh, for future work, I think there is a large, large room of improvements because we just produce logical plans. We made absolutely no optimizations. So no caching, no factorization, no join ordering, nothing. This is just brutal force, brutal, brutal execution of logical plans. So I think it's, it should be possible to divide the execution time by maybe still two or three, maybe 10, I don't know. So, uh, so, 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 thank you for your attention. Any questions?